Hi guys, I'm going to try a one week vlog for this video. It's actually Sunday, so I was planning to start filming tomorrow, but I am working on something today that I already want to show you guys. In this vlog, I will be doing a lot of crocheting, also some drawing. I have a commission plant and there will also be some personal stuff going on. I don't really know at the moment. I'm actually working on my first bralette ever. I have never made a bralette, although I have been crocheting clothing for about one and a half years now. Uh, so I have two of these cups. I chose black because I think it will be, I don't know, I don't know why I chose black. I don't use black yarn a lot, so so this is probably the first black clothing item I've been making. I also think I will be needing to buy some nipple pasties because this will be very see-through. But yeah, I have two of these. I made these yesterday evening and now I'm gonna continue with this pattern. I think it will be a very quick make. I'm very used to my projects taking 30 to 40 or 50 hours to make or even longer but this bralette will take me only a few hours I think which is refreshing for me I'm also working on a little vest thingy for my mom but now I need to sew everything together and I'm procrastinating that a little bit because it's um, granny squares and you have to sew everything together and I'm just not looking forward to that. I really hope you enjoyed this one week art vlog with me full of like crocheting and drawing and stuff. Get something to eat or drink, relax and enjoy this vlog. I've started this little pattern of a kind of filet crochet type of heart. And I really love this style. I think it will look very cute when it's finished. So let's keep going for today. I'm uploading my YouTube video earlier because I was planning to upload it tomorrow. Just had this very sad dinner because Eva isn't home watching YouTube and crocheting. Well, you can't see what I'm crocheting because it's black on black. <laughs> Guys, it looks so good. Don't mind my, my bed sheets that are drying. It looks so good and it wasn't even a two-day make. I would say a two-day make but not full days. And it looks so cute. It even looks kind of fine with my bra underneath. Maybe the back is a little bit floppy but I think it looks so cute. And if the weather is nice I'll definitely be wearing this. At the festival, I'll be going to music festival and also maybe, I don't know, to the beach or something. I think it looks so good and not too revealing to the point where it's like disturbing or I don't know. <laughs> Hi guys, it's now Monday. This is my outfit of the day. I am wearing uh, this top that I got from... A colleague at my internship which is super cool because she gave me a lot of pretty clothing then I'm wearing this jacket which I thrifted and upcycled with some patches and flowers and then this skirt that I also upcycled thrifted and upcycled so I'm fully in the second hand fit today well besides the belt um, I like everything a lot it fits so well together all the colors I'm gonna take my laptop, my iPad and stuff like that to the city. So let's go! I made my commission in the library and my aunt really liked the drawing luckily. I had some time left so I did a swatch for a new summer top I wanted to make this week. You guys, I found this super cheap handmade crochet work in the store. And I had an ice cream to celebrate my first art commission, although it was my aunt, but I think that's normal. Okay guys, so I did my first commission today and my aunt really liked it. And then I was looking into the digital platform 
to like uh, submit the commission because I have a Kunstenaars kaart, but I don't know what it's called in English, but I could do commissioned assignments, paid assignments through that platform, but now apparently it has changed and the person who gives the assignment has to do all the admin and fills in, needs to fill in all the forms, so you need to be Dutch to be um, Belgian to begin with and it's like super complicated and now I'll have to scrap the idea of selling commissions as well and I'm just so super frustrated because I keep having these ideas and talking about them in my videos for example my crochet patterns that I wanted to sell also wasn't able to do that now my idea to do commissions through that platform also not able because also not able to do it because it's just not practical at all because I wanted to do an Etsy listing and I can't expect all my customers to fill in all those forms on that platform and they also need to be Belgian so I figured it's a little bit complicated what I'm talking about but basically I have benefits because of my disability so I'm very very careful about the way I am earning money and I don't want to do illegal stuff so yeah there are a lot of limits to what I'm allowed to do quote unquote so I wanted to clarify that's what I'm complaining about in this part of the video that I'm feeling withheld from growing a business just because currently I'm still on disability like status i'm just so frustrated because i keep talking about stuff because i'm vlogging so i need to kind of talk about my plans but i think i'll have to pay more attention to what i say in my videos because now i'm very frustrated that i keep like promising all these things and they just don't happen i might like prepare some crochet patterns to sell them in the far future once I'm self-employed again, but again, I don't know when I'm going to be self-employed, so... So tomorrow is my first eight-hour shift at my internship, which, you know, it's now 10 p.m., so I'm trying to get to bed earlier to get up at a reasonable time tomorrow because I'm not used to getting up at a reasonable time. I usually get up at like 10 a.m. or something. So I probably won't be filming tomorrow, but I already am scared that this vlog will take too long. Oh, my, my phone is slipping away. I'm already scared that this vlog will take too long. So let me know in the comments, in the comments what you prefer. I also just bought this really cheap milk and face wash. I don't know anything about skincare, I'm very bad at it. Let me know in the comments if you prefer short or long vlogs. Oh, my eyes are hurting. I probably should have put that product in my eyes. Oh, I feel like a man when I do skincare. <laughs> this is a lovely shot. Guys, I had so much trouble going to bed at 10 yesterday and now it's 10 p.m. And after working 8 hours in retail, I think I'm gonna be able to sleep well. <sighs> it was such a busy day. How did you get into my bathroom again? Yeah, enjoy my messy bathroom. So I'm gonna do some simple makeup because... With white clothing, I just look very, very bad if I don't do some simple makeup. I also embroidered this myself, by the way, in a previous video. But I wanted to talk about, about my dreams a little bit. Because I keep having the same dreams. It's either having to do an exam or it's this dream, which is that I am making videos in my dream and I want to send them to my real life version and tonight I was convinced that it actually worked and that I had a USB stick with a video from my dream and I was already awake it's kind of complicated but I was dreaming that I was awake and I found the video finally on a USB stick and I showed it to my sister 
and I was like, wouldn't this be so cool? The video was terrifying, by the way, that I showed her in my dream. And I was like, wouldn't this be so cool to make a YouTube video about saying this is the, verse, the first video filmed in a dream? And then my sister was like, no, everyone's gonna think this is AI generated because the video looks very AI generated. And I just think that's super funny because even when I'm asleep, I'm like chronically online and thinking about creating content, it's actually getting kind of out of hand and I always remember my dreams. I have su such a fasc fasc fascination with dreaming. I'm obsessed with talking about dreams and stuff like that. So I think that was very funny. One of my dreams actually is to have a video of one of my dreams one day <laughs> because I feel like technology is going so fast. We should have a recording of dreams anytime now, right? And I feel like I want to be one of the first people, although I don't have money for that, so that probably won't be the case. But I have so many dreams where I'm filming something in my dream and I'm thinking, I should send this to my awakened version so that I can use this in a vlog. And it's so embarrassing actually <laughs> to admit that. Uh, yeah, I just want to talk about that while you're in my bathroom being creepy. Muna is being very snuggly and today I was actually planning to go to the park and draw in the park but I actually really want to work on my butterfly top that I started yesterday evening. I have this so far and I have to follow a video tutorial because I first read the instructions and I was doing something wrong I think. So now I'm gonna watch the video for the instructions. It's only the beginning of June so we still have a, a lot of warm days ahead of us to go outside. I always say that I want to go outside more often when the weather is nice. It's okay now but it's not like... Okay, it is very nice but I still want to stay inside. Guess in the comments how many hairs will get stuck on this white blouse because I think there will be many. Bean. She's like, why am I not allowed on your lap? But I have to watch the tutorial. I'm sorry, Bean. I'm sorry. I know you are sad. Guys, that's another top made in about one day. I'm really impressed. It looks very cute. I'll link the tutorial in the description if I don't forget. This is what the back looks like. It's super cute, guys. Why am I not making more summer tops that take me six hours to do instead of spending 100 hours on full sets? <laughs> I still really like doing whole sets. I think it looks so nice. But these tops... I have never made so many crochet items in one week. Usually I spend like two weeks or more per item but I already made two tops this week which is amazing good morning I'm having a carrot because I want to eat healthier snacks and I don't know carrots is like super healthy or something I don't know if there are any other healthy snacks that aren't fruit or vegetables maybe like yogurt or something but I don't know. I'm gonna clean my house today, do the dishes, do the laundry, all that kind of fun stuff that I have been procrastinating. And then this afternoon I'm gonna probably film for my video for next week. So that's it for today. Mm. <laughs> I'm having toast with cheese and my fake salmon again. I don't know how long it will take until I will get tired of this. And if I get tired of this, I will have no idea what to eat for lunch, which has happened to me many times because I'm such a picky eater and I get obsessed with one type of lunch and then eventually I get tired of it and then I don't know what to eat anymore, which is very fun. I'm marinating tofu for our delicious dinner that I will cook this evening. Mm -hmm. 
this dinner is so greasy <laughs> and probably not <laughs> super healthy, but I mean... So I'm working on my mom, her little vest thingy, but I had to redo a few uh, squares or hexagons or half hexagons. So now, now I'm redoing them and then I'm gonna sew everything together and then it's almost finished and I'll be so happy when this is finished. Guys, trying to attach it all together and make it fit together is like the most tedious thing ever. I've been using like face wash products for a few days now but my chin only seems to be getting worse. Well, previously I like put on concealer and then just not take it off and just go to bed like that. Or maybe it's just my hormones or something? I have no idea. But my chin is annoying me a lot. So today is Friday and this night I became very ill. I don't know why. Was it the dinner I made yesterday evening? I don't know. But I've been having this a few times the past month that I've just become very very ill for like one day or one night and I don't know why but I'm gonna go to the doctor probably it will probably be nothing or maybe just stress or I don't know IBS or something I am working a bit more on the vest for my mom because I want to give it to her next week girl dinner Girl oh my god guys, my chin is getting worse and worse, probably also because I can't stop picking my skin, like always, but oh well. I have an update. This is the little vest. Um, well, it still needs some ribbing, like finishing touches. And this pattern? This pattern is such a headache, like the instructions for the ribbing are just long, long... Ma bean! Say! Oh my god, I thought I heard something leaking and it was Mona licking up my potatoes. I was so confused because I thought something was leaking. <laughs> so the instructions for the finishing touches are just a long block of text and I just don't have the focus to read that so I think I'm just gonna make something up to finish the edges and then it just needs a little ribbon in the middle and then it's done. It actually looks cuter than I was expecting. Uh, it's not totally not my style at all. I also don't like the colors aren't ugly but they aren't colors I would normally use but yeah, um, I actually really wanted it finished today, but I think I'm gonna stop working on it for now again because this is just such an annoying project to work on. I'm sorry, mom, but uh, I, I don't think I'll ever do something similar again because weaving everything together took so much time. I think now I will start on that little black top I made in the beginning of the video again because I want to make it for someone that had interest in the top and I still have enough yarn left so I think for now I will start working on that black heart motif uh, bralette for her. It's now Saturday and I'm feeling a little bit better so I'm doing a morning walk to buy some renovation supplies for my studio space. To end this vlog I want to do a quick craft first. I have this cardboard from a frame that I ordered and the first thing I thought was oh I can use this to make like a custom cutout painting so I'm gonna do that today I have about two more hours left before Evict comes home and then we'll continue renovating my studio space um, and I was thinking of a disco ball I'll first cut it out and then I'm, I think I'm gonna use my paint by numbers paint pots that I still have left I don't know if you can see it but I did 
a sketch with this pencil but the only problem is that it's not curved like an actual disco ball the lines are straight but I'm think I think I'm just gonna go with the straight lines because yeah I just made the sketch and now I just want to start painting in all the different squares of the disco ball but first I have to cut it out Okay guys, so this is my little disco ball. I think it looks quite cute actually. It's a little bit brown. Well, I wanted it to be gray, but I, I'm not very good at mixing paint colors apparently. But I still think it looks very funky and kind of fun. I might use this as a little decoration in my studio space. I might, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with it, but I think it looks very cute. Just cut out some cardboard and then make a grid and fill in all the squares with different colors so that they don't uh, line up next to each other and yeah i did more colors here and then more like grayish tones up here and also some sparkles i think it looks very cute so with that i'm gonna end this week-long studio vlog because the only things we'll do in the in this weekend is just going to the fitness and doing some more renovating and I'll also continue like my two crochet projects that I'm currently working on and yeah let me know in the comments if I should do more videos like this week-long vlog videos because I usually do two weeks or a month for one vlog and I'll see you in next week's video I hope you have a good day or night bye bye